Hello and welcome to Roosevelt Rumble with your host, Diesel Rumble Beltran. I just got done working out, so I'm sitting in front of the fan pulling down. I'm trying to figure out how to sit up and not get away from the fan. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to sit somewhere else, aren't I? I'm going to hear the wind blow for a little bit while I get titiated. Aw, oh, man. Ugh, I don't want to lay down because then I'll fall asleep. And I don't want to go to sleep just yet. Okay. That's what I'm going to have to do. Because the microphone is... I don't think it's hurting. Anyhow, how's it going, everybody? I have recorded a podcast every week, but just have not posted it. Um, I have just been busy because on my days off, I run my parents around to what they need. And then I barely get done what I need to do for myself. And that's not very good, especially when you have to take care of yourself and... um, Take care of your own cup before you overfill everybody else, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know that's it. <clears throat> Anyhow. But, um, I've been doing the things that I need to do, and that's what really matters. Like, cleaning the turtle tank, because it needs to be done. I can't leave them, leave them in let them live in an environment that is nasty. Um, This weekend, though, I went to Post Malone with a bunch of my friends and my sister-in-law. It was fun. It was amazing. So five years ago, I did see him in concert, but only heard him for like two songs. Because back then, he had like five opening apps. Because he, I think he felt like he needed that, but he didn't. He could, he could have held it on his own. So, um, only heard like two songs and then had to go home because I had to be at work at like seven o'clock in the morning and the show and the show just started. Him barely going on stage was at, like midnight or one o'clock. I don't even remember. It was something ridiculous. I think it was midnight when he finally got on stage, but I had to be at work and it was out in somewhere far. I don't even remember at this point. All I remember is it was far. I could probably look it up. I think I might have the ticket somewhere, which was just a piece of paper, I think. Um, but this time he only had one opening app called Beach Fossils and they were fucking awesome and they're going to be here on Halloween. I'm trying to like weigh my options of if I'm going to go see this band or I'm just going to, you know, do Halloween stuff. And I think Halloween's on a fucking Tuesday this year. I might take the whole day. No, I'll like leave early, I think, from work. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I know I do want to do something like every year. It's kind of just been, um... Not the way that I want it to be. So, you know, just going to fix that. And, uh, but Post Malone was really amazing. It took a lot of photos. You could go to OG underscore TR Beltran to look them up. Um, I just did a little post (laughs) of Post Malone. Um, It was also my sister's birthday this weekend. Well, today's her birthday birthday but i missed the birthday it was a whole fiasco it was just like uh they're like her birthday party's this day and i was like well i can't go then at post malone can we switch it to a different day and i was like well the fifth is too early and then the the the, whatever this weekend is too late blah 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 so she was like it's okay if you don't go and i was like i don't want to miss your birthday but we'll do something together because today is her birthday so um but she had a good time that's all that really matters is that She had a good time. And they had a piñata and everything. It was really sweet. I saw the photographs. My mom and my dad and my nina hit the piñata. So that was awesome um, to see them. And I think my dad has just partied too hard because he's been going to bed early every day this week. And plus he wakes up too damn early. I think he needs something to get him going. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know. I I just feel like he needs to be doing something other than what he's doing just to keep busy. And I'm sad that driving took away like a lot of his, um, a lot of his stuff. Like that was his jam, but he was getting in accidents and shit. So we couldn't let him 
you know, continue doing that. Um, so, what is going on with this fucking... Something's going on with this bookshelf, but I'm not going to even look at it right now. Let's focus. Um, yeah, but Post Malone was amazing this weekend. He did a great job. The opening band was awesome. Post Malone just blew my mind, and he's really an excellent showman. And if I could, I would be going to California this weekend on Saturday. He's playing somewhere. And if I had the money, I would be going. But I do not have the money to just go and do that because I spent the half of this year traveling with money that I had and didn't have. It was just like a bunch of like, I need to do this stuff to get my brain okay. But even though like some of them were working vacations and stuff like that, but I did take care of myself in that manner where I did get away and I did take care of myself. And so now I'm at the point where school started today and now I'm not going to have any time to do crazy shit unless I work really hard on getting classes done. (laughs) So And I can't really afford anything because I have to pay for school out of pocket. Um, So, which is shitty, but you know what? That's life. That's life. Um, But also, a good thing that has happened in the past few months, my daughter has moved back. I don't think I've posted. I see I'm telling you, I've done podcasts where I talked about this. And it just, like, I just forget to post it. Or, like... I get over personal and then I'm just like, okay, I'm working on that this year. So, <laughs> cause as an oversharer, that's the good thing kind of about having your own podcast and being a musician and doing all those kind of things is that you're an oversharer because you can write the songs, you can do all those things. Um, but sometimes you just need to pull back a little bit, you know? So that's what I'm doing. But my daughter moved back <laughs> like three months ago. Um, her and her boyfriend, they're, uh, both work at my job. Um, so that is awesome. And then this week, my best friend, her madre, my ex, but I don't consider my ex anymore. We've been broken up for like 12 years. Um, she's my best friend. She's my best friend. She is going to be here Wednesday, moving back to fucking Arizona as well. So I have a whole little family moving back. Um, and uh pretty damn excited about it. Um Shauna is moving back to be closer to my family because my family is her family, of course. Uh my mom's and dad are like her mom and dad, so you know. Uh however many years that we've been friends is just as long as how my parents and her are, you know? She's always gonna be family no matter what. And that's just the way it is. Uh, so she's going to be here Wednesday, and I need to figure out. Um, I don't need to figure out. I'm working on this, you guys. I'm working on, like, not taking care of people. <laughs> because they're grown-ass people, I know. I'm working so hard um, to put boundaries on myself. to Because I will easily be, like, like I said, over spending myself so i'm working really hard on that and um i think i'm doing pretty well so we'll see about that and uh this past weekend was just a great time and like it was a great time and great fun and it was it was just great to be i keep saying great it was just a fucking good old time (laughs) to be (laughs) seeing Post Malone. Um, I love him. Like, I've loved him since the first time I heard his songs. White Averse. And that was how long ago? Fucking a long-ass time ago. 2000... When I was dating... I was, like, in 2000... When I was doing drag, that's how long ago that was. So what the fuck year was that? 2015? 2016? He's been around that long. Holy dog shield. He's like 28. So yeah. Because he was like 18, 19 years old when his first album came out. And he's he's 28 now. So yeah. So for that many years, I've really been a big, huge fan of him since his first album came out. And uh, 
even did a cover drunk one night. It's on the YouTube page. Uh, it was not a good one, I don't think, but it was, it was my heartfelt. It was like after a breakup and I was just like, eh, I'll fall apart. That's what it was, I think. Um, and, uh, but yeah, he did a great job and he did an amazing job, a beautiful job, an excellent job. <laughs> and I wish I could be friends with him. Um, and then the weekend before that, I went and had breakfast with one of my friends and we hung out for a little bit. Then it was Dylan's birthday party. I don't think I've talked about this. I think I did a podcast. I've just been all over the place. Every weekend, there's always been something. Um, this coming weekend, there, fuck, there is homework. And I have a thing Friday. It's Taylor Swift night, and I haven't made any bracelets. And I bought all this stuff last time, and I still haven't made any. And it's just so, it takes so much time. And I was like, well, maybe I will buy some. But because there's people that actually are in business making Taylor Swift bracelets because of the Eras Tour. And those are like, the cheapest that I found was like $1.40 for one. And so last time at the Taylor Swift thing, I gave out 50 glow-in-the-dark bracelets. So, and there was still people that I didn't give them all to. So just imagine that. <clears throat> um, I have really been into this week actually started last week Rotten uh, Mango if you know what that is it, she Stephanie So I believe her name is I didn't even know her what her name was until somebody at work was like yeah it's Stephanie So she used to do mukbangs and da 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 and I was like I have no idea what you're talking about I just found her. and I think that I've heard her before because like her music and her podcast, just like when she when she's transitioning into going into the podcast, she does an introduction and then she does this uh, transition and the music. From what I remember, I think I have seen this or heard her before or seen it before, but I'm not too sure. Okay, the fan. I'm covering up the mic now. Um, but I've really been into that, and she does a really um, deep dives into these stories because I think Bailey Sarian did a covered one of them I forget what it was and then just right after that that's when she popped up after the Bailey Sarian one and then she gave more in depth uh, dive into it and I was like whoa she's really good at first her voice it was really too much and I was just like okay pull together because you know how sounds can be <laughs> irritating to people on the spectrum um but i was just like okay i'm getting used to it just like today i couldn't do the treadmill because the turtle tank the 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 water's too loud and so i was trying to move it down so that the water wasn't splashing but i couldn't i didn't want to like because i was just trying to move it for a second so but I was just like if I do this then I'm going to like be working on this for a lot longer I need to just get this exercise over and done with um because I um I'm fucking eat, swelling up fucking fibro so I'm swelling up right now uh because it's close oh my fire stick just went into my pictures and it's just showed me tres leches coffee coffee shop anyway yeah, and it also showed me what time it was. So anyway, um, yeah, so I was trying to work out and my body is just like hurting. And I'm trying because Dylan's trying to jump all over me. And I was like, bro, you cannot do that. It hurts. And he still tries. And I'm like, you're getting too big. You're getting heavy. And I cannot pick you up. Uh, but I love the little man so much. But he doesn't listen. And I had to explain to him what no means. <laughs> well, he knows what no means. He just does not like to hear no. And I was like, dude, you're going to go through life. People are going to tell you no. You can't get angry. You can't be pissed. You just have to accept it. People are not going to go with you and what you want to do all the time. 
And uh, it's my little my little ADHD baby. He is so much. And as he's getting older, it's getting a little bit more crazier. Uh, but yeah. That's what's been going on. A lot of family stuff. A lot of exercising. And just trying to get through and become the best in the West. Just kidding. Be the best that I can be and do what I gotta do. Um, yeah. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of family stuff. I love my family more than anything and they are wonderful. Very... I don't know how to explain it. Like, my sister is very grateful for everybody. I heard that, you know, at the birthday party, she was just, like, thankful and grateful for everybody. And that's exactly how I feel daily with my family. And I am blessed, truly. And I know it went off the subject because I was planning on about talking to something else, but I just got emotional over things because it's that time of the month. Getting close to it. And I have, like, these new gummies that I want to take, but they're 50 milligrams of CBD. I think nine or maybe less than that. I should check. Of THC. And then they have saffron in them which is good for um, my swelling. But my swelling seems to be doing a little bit better right now. It was really hard to do the treadmill, though, because I, my hip was, like, hurting really bad. And it's been years, I tell you, years since I've felt this pain. Like, probably 2019, 2020 was the last time that I was feeling this way. So, um, I need to work more on my health. And I'm just doing it. I'm doing it. That's all that matters. I'm like, I'm doing it. Like, for example. Oh, my God. I'm still hurting. For example, like, I've been doing this program. Well, here's the thing. So, I was doing the hard 75. And then I was like, I can't do the hard 75. Because all of a sudden, PMS hit. And I was just like, out. Down and out for the count, you know. And, uh. So I was like, I can't work out. I'm in too much pain. I'm so swollen and it, and like it'll aggravate it more. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do light stuff. So I was doing light stuff, but I've been doing as much as I can when I can and not overdoing it. Um, so I am. Um, so sorry, I got off track because I was doing something but um, I'm doing the best that I can to lose mostly lose weight and get healthier because I used to work in warehouses and so those warehouse jobs like I was fit and now I'm working from home at a computer so now I'm working really hard on trying to get fit healthier and all that good stuff but I was, like, really concerned because after the concert, there's always people in the um, parking lots when you go to concerts, at least here. I don't know if it's everywhere else, selling T-shirts. And so there was this really cool T-shirt of Post Malone the other day. And he's like, what size do you want? I was like, extra large. And he was like, okay, I got extra large for you. So he hands me the shirt. I pay him and everything. And then... I throw my shirt in the back seat with my um, my friend's son, <clears throat> and uh, so then the next day, Sunday, I was like, "Shit, this is not an extra large; it's a medium." So I was like, "Shit, what if my friend's kid took the shirt on accident because he we all got shirts after the show?" So I um, I called her. And I asked her, I said, hey, did did you guys accidentally take my shirt? Because I swear I got an extra large. And uh, she's like, no. 
I have an extra large and he got a large and da da da. I was like, well, the shirt that I have is a medium. I was like, I, I was like, there's no way I'm going to fit in this. She's like, well, I'll check when I get home to see if like we accidentally took yours. And I was like, cool, cool, cool. So like, <clears throat> my mom was like, well, you're doing really good. Just try and, you know, make it. That's what you're going to fit into. You're, that's your goal because you've been really doing good. Up. And I was like, yeah, I was doing really good up until um, I started ovulating. And then my whole body was like done. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to, I'm going to go try the shirt on. And then I started to try the shirt on and then I got sidetracked. Of course, welcome to my life. And then I put the, sh- I was like, okay, I need to fucking try the shirt on before she calls me and asks me about it. Um, she, Cause she was like, you could have the large shirt. He could fi- fit in a medium. And I was like, okay. I was like, yeah, I'll do that. So I tried it on and lo and motherfucking behold, bitches, listen to me. I fit in this medium shirt. I was in shock. I was shooketh. And I showed my mom. I went into her room and I was like, look at, I fit in this. And she's like, whoa, congratulations. And I was like, thanks. I was like, I am so shocked that I fit in this medium shirt. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to fucking try the, the Post Malone shirt because that's an extra large. And I put the Post Malone shirt on and it fit like an extra large. Like, so the media, so it really depends on the brand, but I fit in the medium of whatever brand this is, and I'm fucking taking that. So I'm very excited and happy. And so, um, like I said, when I started ovulating, I just couldn't, because I'm swollen and I'm hurting, and sometimes I have to use my cane. But uh, so tonight I was like, I need to fucking do this. I need to fucking get back on this wagon. Because I'm still exercising it. And I was like, as long as you do 30 minutes a day in fat burn or at least just doing it, you know, because I can't walk that fast because of my hip. I was like, as long as I just keep doing it, you know, I'm getting the exercise that I need. I'm getting the health that I need and I'm drinking the water. So also there's another thing. So you know how they say you need to drink half of your body weight in water um, to be hydrated. So, I was watching some nutrition person, and they were like, well, that was written back in, like, the way, like, back in the 60s or something like that, or 40s, was it? Anyways, it was back almost 100 years ago, and not really, but uh, they were like, so now it doesn't matter, It's it doesn't have to be water, it is whatever you're taking in daily, It is what you need to drink in um, ounces. But, um, because I was doing a gallon a fucking day, and I did lose, like, four pounds. I've lost four pounds, and, uh, but I'm losing a lot of inches, and that's good. So, um, as long as, you, you know, I'm drinking water and everything else every day. So every day I drink a probiotic soda, tea, water, and coffee. And sometimes a Gatorade if I need it. So I'm doing the best that I can at getting the, all those liquids into me and working out as the best that I can and getting it done. And I feel like if as long as you're like doing the best that you can, then you're getting somewhere, you know? It's 1% every day better, and I'm working on it. And apparently I fit in a fucking medium, so that's all good and dandy. Plus, we have the mud run on October 7th, and me and my sister and whoever else is doing it with us, which I need to find out because I bought four tickets and two people are probably not going to do it. So I need to reach out to other people to see if they want to do it. But we're going to do this. My sister and I are going to do the mud run in October and I'm working on my fitness. So yeah, that's what's been going on for the past couple of weeks since the last time I did a podcast. Been watching Rotten Mango, um, of course, Bailey Sarian, working on my fitness. School just started today. Fucking doing a lot of family stuff. And I'm best friends moved back. My daughter's moved back. I am blessed and loved 
from everywhere. And I got a postcard in the mail from somebody who, who did um, a little art project and gave it to me. And it was the nicest thing ever. And I'm going to frame it. And they were like, thank you so much for over 20 years of friend of friendship. And they were very, very sincere and touched my heart. And they made me feel cause sometimes, you know, you're feeling kind of like down and out because sometimes today I was feeling like that. And then it, it's just like, I just feel like, stuck sometimes but it's because the only reason I feel stuck is because I'm working on getting to where I am like with school and like with my job and you know I'm working on it and uh so in the letter she was like I'm thankful for having you in my life and the world is better with you and like (laughs) it made me feel so much better because I've been feeling just a little poopy but not like a lot it's just like <sighs> just need to breathe like i was telling somebody today i was like well, we need to take a trip just like up north or something just to get going but i also think that i might start going and doing my job in other places like going um to my friends houses because that work from home and working with them like just body doubling because we both have adhd and like if i went over to her house during the day and she did her shit and i did my shit i think body doubling will totally get our shit done i feel that we both procrastinate on stuff but but i think that if we did that i think we'd be doing really good we'll see maybe I'll, i'll bring i'll bring it up to her and ask her if she would like to body double someday um and then uh, I think I just need to get out of this routine of working in from home. And I don't want to go back to the office <laughs> because I do not want to put the mileage on my car. Um, but I think working at somebody's house with them or maybe going anywhere and doing it, I feel that would work out a lot. And shit, even this weekend, I was like, I'm going to get fucking rid of my desk. And my sister's all, that's where you do your work. And I was like, I know. I go, but I'm just like... <sighs> getting restless but i know i will get past the restlessness so but yeah a lot of things are happening concerts galore happening my dad's birthday's coming up today's my sister's birthday Uh, i have a laundry list of things that i'm getting done um laundry for one uh cleaning my room rearranging it to make it what I need when I work out because it's hard to get to the gym. I'm only paying twenty three dollars to go to the for my gym membership, and um, that's not bad. And uh, I get reimbursed once I fucking fill out the paperwork again for work. I get reimbursed for up to a certain amount of money for any health things, so I can write off a lot of things and get that money back. So, <clears throat> but I enjoy working from home. But I also need to get out during the week. But it's really hard when you have four tens and it's smack dab right in the middle of the day, 9 to 7.30. But that's why I want to do body doubling with other people. So I'm going to try doing that, mirroring each other, but not in the narcissist way. Oh, I was, okay, I'm not going to get into that. Maybe I'll do a whole nother episode about that. Um, (laughs) Not in a narcissist way, mirroring. Um, yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go because it's time for me to go to sleep because I got to wake up and work out again. I'm doing it. It's doing getting back into it because it's like, uh, I guess it would be 75 soft. Did I talk about going to see Jason Mraz with some girl from one of the groups I'm in? I've been meeting a lot of women that way. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. My name is Tisa Rebo Beltran. You can check me out on the socials. Please check me out on Facebook under Tisa Beltran. You could follow me there. Um, I'm also on OG underscore TR Beltran. And there is a big announcement coming. There is, but I need to finish doing something and then I can make the announcement. I'm really excited about it. Um, So just keep an eye out and I will announce it on the channel anyway, but thanks for tuning in. Check me out on my socials. Uh, My name is Tisa Rebel Beltran and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.